Old Habits Die Hard. Hi, I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the Janitorial Store. Say, you know, have you ever hired an employee, taken them through training, you know, and your training uh, program may last two weeks, might last a month, uh, you know, whatever, but you've taken them through the program and they're really, they appear to really be grasping hold of it and paying attention and, and, uh, and really following and, and uh, understanding the system. So that's all great. So you take them through your, your initial training and at some point you're going to actually turn over the location to them, let them clean it on their own. Uh, you may stop by and follow up periodically. Uh, let's say we're, we're a month or two uh, into uh, them cleaning the facility on their own and you're starting to see some uh, quality control issues or maybe you're starting to see when you're checking their time that they're they're running along on their cleaning time of that of uh, the office or the facility. So, you know, one of the common things that we find out is that sometimes people will bring in their old habits. Uh, what I mean by that is that sometimes uh, people, when they're uh, dumping trash, for example, um, sometimes they'll think that they're able to. Uh, take a different route uh, through, through an office space or a facility thinking that it might be more efficient. Now, you know, we're not against that. that that's great, you know. Uh, but uh, hopefully that they learn that if they try that one time and that they, that they still can't get done on time, that okay, that just isn't going to work, go back to the original system. But in a lot of cases they don't. They continue to, to, to uh, work that, uh, the system that they uh, thought would be better, only to take longer to clean. So in that case, what I always, you know, when I find that out, uh, there's either two things, either the person's just uh, messing around and, and uh, not, not cleaning, and or they change the system in which, we're, which we're, we use for cleaning. You know, and the best example is exactly that, trashing. So, you know, because generally, uh, you know, a supervisor or myself would uh, clean the location. I'd clean it for two weeks to a month. And what I'm doing is I'm finding out where all the problems and issues are. And also I'm finding the best routes to take as I, as I go cleaning, uh, as I go through cleaning the, cleaning the facility. So from doing that, I know for a fact that my trash route is the best and the most efficient route to use when I'm going through trash and dusting. Uh, so because of that, uh, because I tried multiple, multiple routes and, and I timed myself to see which would, what was best and so on and so forth. But anyway, so because of that, that's how I know that the route that, that we train them on is the best. And oftentimes that's what we'll most likely find out is that, uh, that they've changed a route or a system of some sort and that's why it's taken them longer to clean. Um, you know, and, uh, and a lot of times I've had people tell me that, well, that's how we used to do things. Um, but yet, you know, their old habits of how they used to do things doesn't, doesn't work well. Uh, you know, I appreciate the fact that they've tried it, but, you know, uh, the thing is that we have a mark, we have a time that we have to be done, you know, completed with our cleaning, and we have to stay, stay on mark. Um, and that's really the, the main objective to any cleaning that we do is we got to make sure we're getting done on time. So again, that's what I do is I just, I retrain them. I, I take them back through and explain to them this is why we have to go this route because this is the most efficient route that I found after a month of cleaning this place. Um, so that's what we'll do. Uh, you know, the other issue is, like I say, uh, either it's taking them longer to clean and or they're missing things. Uh, either the, the dusting's poor, they're missing trash, or they're uh, missing a, uh, an area that they're, they're vacuuming uh, because they chained up the route. Now something else too is because of some of these, these habits that they have of how they either did a procedure or a task, uh, it could cause an injury. And you know, that's something that we always got to be conscious of because, you know, uh, somebody getting injured, an employee getting injured is going to cost us money, you know, and our work was comp rating. So we definitely don't want that. But anyway, you know, these are all things that you need to think about, uh, you know, when uh, you have a new employee and uh, some of these old habits uh, rear their ugly head. You have to have a plan of how you're going to attack it and how to resolve it. Um, and, uh, you know... That's all you can do. Uh, you just uh, 
have a plan and like I say generally the, that plan is, plan is just to retrain uh, as quickly as possible and get them back on track. 90% uh, of the time when, when I've done, 99% of the time when I've done that uh, that's always worked. They've always got back on track and then they stayed there uh, but you know there were some that were just uh, you know were their habits were just hard to break and they essentially you know I had to let them go because you know they were just taking way too long to clean and uh, they they were just always bucking the system but anyway so hopefully you found this helpful and uh, next time that you have an employee that has some bad habits uh, have a plan on how you're going to break those habits and uh, hopefully you'll be successful and uh, that's it thanks again for watching and uh, watch for our other videos and if you haven't subscribed uh, please subscribe to the, uh, our channel